Rivals, this is Zonia, and you are in the zone. We're going to be looking at our five ELO matches today. So, let's get right into it. Again, if you want to jump ahead, you can go ahead and click on the link right up here that I'm going to put. Uh, take you straight to the matches if you don't want to watch me make the deck for this week. So let's go ahead and make our deck. So again, uh, let's take a look at our LD missions. We are done with all of our Sacrom now because we finished that video. We've got Skeels here. It looks like we've got Remove Life with Skeels. And uh, Skeels is coming up real fast. So we have not done a Minus Life deck with Skeels. So let's go ahead and we'll run a Minus Life with Skeels. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? We've got Piranhas, which is removing 90 life points. So we could do minus life with both of those. Uh, we've got Hurricane, which is 20 heal for right now. We already did our heal, uh, so we probably won't do that again. And Uppers, which I ran through really fast the other day. I much prefer to use Uppers. Uh, they were very convenient for what I was working on. So why don't we go ahead and uh, we did a Skeels and Piranhas um, poison deck. Uh, but now why don't we go ahead and do some minus life with both. So minus life with Skeels and Piranhas. So we're going to be doing another one of those, but we will see how things work out otherwise. So let's head into our collection. Minus life, Skeels, and Piranhas. Okay, so... Uh, sorry, let's go ahead and go to, uh, why am I clicking on Nightmare? For some reason, every time I see Piranhas, I, I think Nightmare. I know they're close, but they are nowhere near the same. So let's go ahead and go to Piranhas. I know cards named Colos and Piranhas. <laughs> Alright, so, um, again, for right now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to, oh, I've got every single card up and show Okay, so all I'm going to be doing here is putting every single card that is minus life from both in, and then we will see what that looks like when we get to the end of it. So as we wait and wait and wait. Okay, great. Let's see. So when it comes to minus life... Got Dante, not not an amazing card, but not not horrible. We got Ector. Ector is gonna be the the bread and butter staple here from Piranhas. Um, more minus life. We got Iron Jaw. So Iron Jaw is nice. He's kill shot, so that makes it a little bit harder, but not horrible. Uh, who else? Can't be bothered to try and remember right now. Oh, yes, of course, the one card that has shot up in price recently because of that Rakan, who I have not bought my doubles of yet, all of them at least, because he's just so much higher right now. Uh, we may run a two five stars this week, then. The issue with running... Now, here's one of the issues we're going to run into with all this minus... Uh, you have to be really careful about the mins on your minus life, because otherwise you're going to get your opponent really far down, and then... There's just going to be nothing left. You're not going to be able to actually finish them off because your your minus life doesn't go to zero. Except for a few cards that will, uh, which we will definitely be putting in from Skeels if we can. Although I think Praxi is banned. I don't remember. Okay, so there's not a whole lot else going on here. And the problem, one of the other problems here with uh, Piranhas is that they do not really have BR. Ulrich is, is banned and uh, Calliope is very expensive when it comes to that. However, um, mm, well, we will we will just deal with the issues that arise with the uh, skills half because I think our skills half is going to be a lot more forgiving. So let's run over to skills. So the the main thing I'm doing right now again is I've put in all of the piranhas cards that have minus life. Now I'm going to put in all of these skills cards with minus life. But I am also going to be put in, putting in skills cards with uh, uh, minus damage so that I can survive because that's the other thing you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that you've got some DR that'll keep you alive in the end. Um, so let's see, minus power. I just put a whole bunch in the other day, but uh, I can't remember who the first one was that I was using. Of course, Logan. Amazing card. Again, min 4 is nice and low, but he only does 
three base damage, which means that Rockon is probably going to be a little bit better because his base damage is four, I believe, but his min is five. So Logan or Rockon will be great. The problem with having both in the deck is that it means that they're not both going to be viably usable, really, uh, because they're not going to be able to finish finish the job when it comes when it comes time to finishing the job. Oh, Praxi does not have the ELO ban on him right now. Excellent. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're also gonna put uh, Redra, Redra in because Redra is great for DR. And then, uh, you know, I know Zeke. Zeke is Zeke is really nice as well because he's two damage minus four and four. But I've already got a bunch of high mins, and I really need some damage dealers. I really need something that's going to force the opponent to uh, get over my DR or whatnot. So I think even though it's it's high, um, I really, really like uh, Arantxa. Arantxa. Sorry, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that I'm butchering her name, so I, I apologize for those who actually know what her name should be. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put her in for now, and we're going to see where we are. I know that we are quite over when it comes to star values because we got two five stars in there and uh, I know I have iron jaw in there and, and a bunch of other problems so here for skills right now we've got what 13 which means that I'd have to go with only 12 from piranhas and I know that I'm well over that so what are we gonna do I think I think we are like nine stars over but I, I know I put in more than the normal amount um, let me clean this up real fast. All right, so we are at 27 stars. We are at 27 stars, and uh, we need to get down to 25. We need to get rid of one card. Um, I guess probably I'm going to be cutting Iron Jaw. As much as I love Iron Jaw, that kill shot is not he's such a good finisher. It's just going to be a lot easier. Ideally, if you had this kind of deck and you weren't trying to be specific about getting a lot of minus life done fast, I would definitely say take out Rockon or or Logan. Either one of those would be the the best that you can do because both of them have very low mins, low actual damage. They're not going to be able to work well together. If I draw both in the same hand, it's actually going to be a detriment instead of a help, um, and that is not what we want. However, um, I'm going to leave them in just to see what happens see 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 how it goes um, so that means that we're gonna have to pull iron jaw out and we're gonna have to replace iron jaw with a two-star card and I guess I may have to do uh, I'm gonna have to put a two-star in there and the best one is definitely Hawkins so we're gonna have to try and play with with the Hawkins does not pill more than a few um, bias in mind and make sure that we do not fall for our own trap of not ever pilling enough. I mean, the other thing that we could do instead of, of Hawkins is Emerald Coco, and hope that that is... Let's go ahead and do that, because uh, Emerald Coco will also force piss the same way that Hawkins would, except uh, if he's able to copy some of the opponents with attack manipulation, and that will go well. Obviously, Hawkins would still be better overall, because Hawkins... The minus two pills is pretty much going to work against any clan. Whereas if Emerald Coco copies, you know, skills, doesn't really do him any good whatsoever. Um, or if Emerald Coco copies, say, you know, Raptor's bonus, uh, it's not going to do him any good. So there are some clans that Emerald Coco is not going to be as good against, but he does pack that one extra damage. Uh, I don't like the six power, but so be it. That's okay. We'll at least be able to force one pill, which is all that I really want him for. For now at least we'll see all right so let's take a look at our deck we are down to 25 stars now looks like we are pretty much ready to go all right and our deck this week is going to be emerald coco dante ector rockon uh, arancha logan praxi and redra and again my apologies for butchering some of these names so let's get into it
Okay, guys, let's get into it. Oh, sorry, I forgot to show you that I definitely have not played. Actually, I have played one. I accidentally played a match earlier, but then I didn't play anything else all week, so I leveled back out to 1,000. So I'm still at 1,000 because I didn't play all week. Uh, my score went back down to 1,000, which is what happens if you don't play enough. All right, so we've got level 86 from Spain, 7 Critical, uh, Galactia, Plunk, Sandro, Sandro, and Sasha versus our Dante, Aranza, Logan, and Praxi. So... I gotta look out for Sandro. Uh, Sandro having a whole lot. Galactia as well, having a whole lot. Definitely go in pretty far in order to get done what needs to get done. So, uh, I think we can either expect... Let's see, the problem we have here is that he could either open big with a Galactia or Sandro. Probably Galactia. Um, he could zero pill with Sasha. He could go really far in, or he could do nothing with Plunk. Um, I think I'm going to play Logan, and I'm going to expect a pretty big Galactia play. This is definitely not something I would ever recommend, uh, especially in ELO, but level 86, I expect him to be maybe a little bit more aggressive. So we're either going to call this close, um, I would not be surprised to see, my guess would probably be 7 to 8 pill Galactia. I would also not be surprised at all to see a zero pill Plunk, which we have played all of our pills up to four anyway, so Plunk is pretty much useless for that. Now because he does not have a whole lot of damage on here, the reason I'm going to guess Galactia is because if I'm able to pull off eight damage here, that's going to put him in a really bad place. So in that sense, he could open with a zero pill Sasha. Uh, because Sasha only does two damage, and that would put him in a better situation for later. Now, because I have Aransa, though, uh, that's gonna cancel. Okay, there's the Galactia. The question is, how far in has seven critical gone? I'm really sorry for how laggy my game is, guys. Oh, yes! All right, we got very lucky. Um... I did expect the large pill. We were very, very fortunate here. Um, again, I would not generally recommend this kind of opening. But when you're able to look at the cards, I really do believe that you can kind of read what someone is... Okay, well then, I guess that... I guess that ends that. Seven Critical has left the battle. Um, good, good game. I don't, I don't know if he had to leave just yet. He still might have been able to come back from that, for sure. Um, we got five more, so that's good. Sad thing is, is we might have been able to get another KO in ELO, and that was stolen from us. Plus 21 there, so we're at 1, 1,021. Let's go into our second match. Daniel Zeniz. Sorry if I, I probably just completely butchered your name. Um, level 75 from is Ar Argentina? I'm really sorry if that's wrong. Uh, Cassiope, Murray, Nabo, and Trin. Oh, Cassiope. Must be doing a mission. Um, Amaral Coco, Logan, Praxi, and Redra. Alright, so... Level 75 knows this stuff. Probably not against being an aggressive player. We've got lots of DR here. Cassiope is not that great of a card. Murray is his real... Uh, Ace in the hole here. Logan is going to be able to get by both Trin and Nabo, so we do not need to fight this Murray. Uh, because Logan is just going to be able to scoot right under it. Praxi is going to be able to scoot right under it. It doesn't matter at all. Uh, I'm going to hope that he has played quite a bit. I'm just going to go with Amaro Coco and force him to play at least one more pill. Um, I realize he only has to play one more pill in order to beat me, but uh, I, don't, I don't see a reason to go in big on this first round because all of my cards go under and as you can see with Murray being his best offensive card um, I don't know if I would have led with Murray honestly uh, Murray is kind of your your one way to get past my Redra and so now with with such a kind of bad position that he's in he's gonna have to try and counter Logan um, and it wouldn't surprise me to see Nabo as a play here, but I want to watch out for the Cassiope because if he does beat me here, then I've, I've lost. The Cassiope is going to get the most out of this. 42 and 8 is going to put him at 50. So all I need to do is make sure I get to 56, which is 7 pills. That's still going to put me at basically the same number of pills as him. Um, and so ultimately what this is going to mean is that 
all I have to do is line up Praxy against uh, Nabo and then Redra against Trin, and this game is pretty much over. So I think I think we're pretty much already set here. So um, I don't want to say GG yet because it's not over. Uh, I definitely could have miscalculated something for sure, but it doesn't look good for Daniel right now because he went so far in with Murray. And uh, I think if I was not playing this minus life deck, uh, he probably would have gotten me with that. I, I don't think I would have been able to go in, nor would I have tried to go in that far against Murray. Um, and with all of this DR, I would have been in big trouble. And there he goes with the, the trend trying to seal the deal. So that definitely uh, ends, ends this one. So uh, good game, Daniel. Okay, guys, this uh, puts us at 10.38. Uh, we're 2-0, and oh, and uh, let's head back out of the room and try and uh, eliminate as much lag as possible. Okay, guys, just to show you again, uh, we were at 10.17, and then we, we fell back down, so that's why we got the uh, plus 21 to 10.21. I, I promise you we started at 1,000. All right, so let's get back into it. We're headed into our third match. Okay, looks like uh, level 127. Goodness, uh, from China, I believe. Mm, 5949-8982. Um, Montana, uh, Angelo, Angelo, Oscar, Octavia, RB, and Prince Jr. versus our Rakan, Arancha, Logan, and Redra. Here we run into this issue of both uh, uh, Rakan and Logan, and unfortunately we do not have our bonus, which is very bad for us. Thankfully, we do not have to worry about Angelo with Logan, and so that's we will not start with Rakan. That also works well for us in the end, because Rakan has more base damage if we need him. So the problems we have here with Logan are both Oscar and Prince Jr. And I would expect either one to come out. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and trap trap the opponent again. Because he's going to know that he needs to play big here. Again, if you notice here, Angelo has two damage. Oscar, four. Octavia, three. Prince Jr., three. He has drawn a very low hand. We have drawn a very high hand. He has to make sure he stops us. Um, the problem we have now, though, is that because we have uh, Rakan as well as Logan, it could be that he, he might expect me to be with, like, zero pills here. Uh, and so if he only one or two pills, then that could put us in, in a lot of trouble. But we do have um, Arancha and Redra both as DRs here, and both of them cannot be stopped. And so basically, if we beat Oscar here, we are in a good position. Excellent. Oh, Twice in a row, we, we have just, just made it. Um, we are now significantly down in pills, but taking out the largest damage dealer uh, is pretty much, I think, a game over here for, for Hung 5949898 uh, because we can now basically pin him to, let's see... Hmm. How to do this? All right. Well, let's let's go with Redra first. The main goal here is just to make sure that he does not fury. Probably should have gone all in on this one. Probably only did two pills. Oh, three. Well, that's quite excellent for us. play Arancha, he'll probably play Angelo. Now the reason that I'm doing this is because um, I have a whole lot of belief in Arancha. Um, and the reason that I really believe in, in this card is because a lot of people think that uh, Arancha is only a defensive card, which is completely false. 
Um, I actually find Arancha to be more offensive than defensive, believe it or not. Even with the minus three, um, if you look at this, my guess is he's going to respond with uh, probably Angelo. No, oh, Octavia. Okay, well, still, um, probably only put three pills on. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, again, a lot of people underestimate her because they think, oh, she's only five power, so you're not going to go that far in. If you have enough pills to back it up, I've gotten so many uh, sneaky KOs and wins kind of like this uh, with Arancha that it's it's not even it's not even funny. I mean, maybe it's funny a little bit, but not really. Um, I guess it depends on your definition of funny. But Arancha is an absolutely amazing card that leaves your opponent completely guessing: has he gone in, or has he has he done nothing? Has he played nothing? Um, now, assuming that Octavia went in there anyway. Um, even with just one pill, I would have been able to keep Octavia to three. Uh, I think no matter what, he wouldn't have been able to do more than seven damage. To be honest, um, I probably could have gone all in and furied, uh, and basically guaranteed the win from round one. If I had played just one more, uh, pill and furied, I think I would have been able to guarantee the win. Again, here we see, um... Uh, sorry, we're 3-0. I didn't pay attention to, to what we were at. I'm sorry. Uh, level 97. Um, I don't remember what flag. That's the country that's from. I'm really sorry. Um, I'm not even going to guess because people just laugh at me. All right, we got Ed CR, which we just got. Excellent. In our other video, Ed CR, Moses, Prince Jr., and Sharon. This is our Ector, Arancha, Praxi, and Redra. So uh, here we are down on stars by one. We are going against Montana, which is never a fun time. And we've got Moses here, which is going to be able to take us down to one. The ever-famous Ed CR play is basically three pill Ed CR. So you're looking at 33. Uh, no fun for most people uh, here. Again, we do not have our Piranhas bonus. This is just really, really sad for me. Um, honestly, I feel like my best move here is, is to use... Redra, but I really wanna, I wanna surprise him because I wanna save my DR for later if possible. So what is this gonna do if if I do 49, 47, 37? He would have to go over five pills. I can't see him playing more than five pills with Ed CR. So I'm gonna go in pretty deep uh, with pills here again, uh, being very very aggressive with this deck. Um, applausos zero. He expected. I'm really glad I did not fall for that. However, we are significantly down on pills, which does put us kind of in a bad, a bad way. Um, I'm next going to play Praxi, and I'm going to do it with uh, zero pills. And the reason I'm going to do zero on Praxi. Normally I would be like, I really want to get these three minus life. However, um, what's going to happen here is probably he's going to respond, my guess is with Moses, though it would be smarter for him to respond with, say, Sharon or Prince Jr. I'm hoping he's going to play quite a few pills. And the reason I'm hoping this is because um, he sees that I have Arancha and Redra kind of just sitting here. And so he's going to want to save Moses. There's Sharon. Would I have been able to win if I had gone all in? I could have hit 48 minus the 12. Okay, so he did indeed expect me to go in quite deep with that, and I did not. So um, the good news is that we are up one life right now, and it doesn't really matter if Prince Jr. Uh, wins or not because Moses is going to be coming at us. Can we, can we do this? If I move him down to three, 20 is not gonna get me over. Um, I'm gonna be reduced to four as well. Um, because what he's thinking here, I think, is if he just uh, hits me with Moses, then I am, I'm basically done. But he cannot fury over with Redra, so if I go all in, 
I'm gonna do five. He cannot do more than six. All right. I think I'm gonna go for at least the tie here. I doubt that he has gone all in with Prince Jr. It does not make sense for him to go in that far. He's gotta save his pills to make sure his other... I could have furied. Oh, I knew I could have furied. Okay. Um, that's okay though. I'm not, I'm not really upset at all because uh, we are going to be able to maintain him with six. Should have furied. I really should have furied. I was totally going, oh, should I fury? Should I fury? Um, but I did not, I just did not have the cojones for it. Um, but I guess if I had thought, if I had thought this through a little bit more, I would have realized that uh, he needed all of those pills for Moses because Arancha would have pulled Moses to a four. And with basically the same number of pills on both of our sides, that's going to put him in, in a really bad way no matter what. And so I'm very happy to call us a draw. Uh, great game. Applaus os. So we are now at 3-0-1 uh, with this deck. And we have been very aggressive, and it has gone quite well. Oh, excellent. Bender, applause. Excellent. Okay, um, so we are a little bit further along now on our ELO. Uh, I'm going to go back and remove the lag one more time before we continue. Our last match. Alright, so let's head back in. Time for our fifth match. We're at 1061, I believe, is what it said. Alright, we got level 35 from the US, Bob 001. All right, we've got a Freaks and Jungo deck. Oh, goodness. All right, so we can expect a very large pill at the beginning. we got Pyro, Quasi, Choco, Wolfgang, and Neva. I am expecting a high pill Pyro right off the bat with lots uh, because of that defeat recovery, uh, which is going to put us in a very, very unfavorable position when all of those pills uh, come tumbling back to him, and we are significantly down. Thankfully, Neva does not have her bonus. But we absolutely have to prevent this first round poison. Um, there is nothing about this that we can we can do. Um, even with all of this extra damage, you know, one of the things I'm thinking now is I could I could throw a Rancha, and then I've got Logan and Praxi, who are going to get around most of this DR. But I think I'm going to save Arancha for the next next time around. 64 would require him to play 10 pills with Pyro. There's no way he's going to play 10 pills with Pyro. So we're going to go with 64, and then we're going to try and surprise him, maybe, with... Uh, let's see. Should we try and surprise him with Arancha? All right. So then he went to 49. Could have played one less. That's okay. He played seven pills. That's a little strange with Pyro's power. He could have played one more and gotten the same amount of pills back. Um... Anyway, so we are now 10 to 6, not doing quite as well on our pill power. Um, Wolfgang could reduce Arancha all the way down to 2, which would be less than ideal. Uh, I think the best thing to do at this point is to... Uh, I think we are we're all, we are gonna go all in this time. I, I'm really honestly, guys. I'm I'm expecting him to call this. I'm expecting him to call Praxi. Um, there's really no reason for him to not go all in. He needs to make sure that it works this time. However, he may be hesitant because uh, Arancha is going to get the best of whoever he goes against. So it probably would have uh, behooved me to play Praxi with less. However, I am hoping that uh, Bob Triple O One is counting on the fact that it's round two, and since I just played very aggressive on round one and he gained pills back, that I wasn't going to play quite as much with Praxi. So I would not be surprised to see... Well, I, I want to say Neva, but uh, no matter what, he's not going to be able to win ties. So you could see probably Wolfgang. Okay, there's Wolfgang. How many? Did he go to 49? He didn't! Ah, oh, yes! 
that puts us in an excellent position to be able to stop his Furies. So, um, yeah, I think, I think we can stop whatever it is. He cannot reach us with his poison, so even if he plays Quasi Choco first, uh, I think our best move here, since they've both got four, and either one will be reduced beneath or in trouble, he's going to have to play at least one pill. So it doesn't matter which one we do first or second. So I think what we want to do is we want to use our DR against Quasi Choco, whichever order he does, because he's going to be able to do six and eight and nine. I think we've got him no matter what. So um, good game, Bob Triple One. That was a uh, very good game. Okay, so with that, um, we've played our five matches, and we are 4-0-1. We didn't lose a single match. We won four, tied one. Our final ELO score for this week is 1,077. Um, I highly recommend this deck. I think this deck worked out really well, except I would probably recommend taking one of the five stars out, um, either rock on and maybe substituting a different card in. Um, but overall, this worked really well. Um, I'm super pleased with this deck. Um, I would recommend using this for real, not, not just as a uh, kind of LD missions deck. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this week. Uh, I enjoyed this uh, I'm playing for now. Seems like my daughter enjoyed it too. Um, again, if you like this video, then please make sure to like it and share it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe for more of my Urban Rivals videos. This is Zonia, and you've been in the zone.